everyone, welcome to Live in a Country. I'm Holly and welcome to the studio office where I do all of my work for my YouTube channel but also now most of my recording. So this is kinda, kinda gonna be my backdrop area for some of my videos. So you guys will get very familiar with this area. This room was actually originally my husband's office. We built kind of the space around him when building the house um, but he has outgrown it and it was a little bit difficult for him to get work done with the kids right across in the playroom. So we have a new area for him and now this is mine, which is absolutely awesome. So, so happy. It's the perfect ideal situation because it's right across from the playroom. So if I need five minutes to get some work done, I can while the kids are playing right there. So it's absolutely perfect. So today we're gonna be decorating these bookshelves, these uh, built-ins right behind us. And I'm gonna share with you guys kind of how I do it in hopes that it might inspire you guys in decorating your spaces. So I'm gonna let you guys know where all these pieces are from and let's go ahead and get started. So I have this rug for this office space. This is the Harpoot rug by Boutique Rugs. It is in a seven foot, 10 inch by 10 feet, three inch rug. And I'm super excited. I found this in the farmhouse section of Boutique Rugs. I have a link down below, and they were kind enough to give me a 60% off coupon for you guys, which is absolutely awesome. So, so exciting! So you guys could get your very own farmhouse styled rug for 60% off. I believe that this one goes for around 350, and you can pick it up for under 150 bucks, which is awesome. So, especially for such a big rug. So they've got all sizes of rugs, so, so many, so I have a link down in the bio if you guys wanna check it out. But later in this video, we are going to unwrap it together and we're gonna see how it looks in the office space. Okay, so here is what the office space looks like. We have shiplap in the middle and then we have beadboard in the back of the, the built-ins. So I am gonna get little uh, tea towels to do on the bottom left and right hand corner. Ticking striped tea towels, so I gotta order those and that's kinda gonna clean that area up quite a bit. I am gonna get a different chair that is my dining room chair. Maybe um, I would love to find something ticky and stripe, really comfortable because I do all of my editing work here and spend quite a few hours working here. So I'm gonna share with you guys the decor. Um, I wanna show you guys this huge sign right here. This is from Walls of Wisdom. This is their seven foot I think it's 72 inch by 40 inch sign. I love it, you guys, it's so cute. It's actually a canvas sign, but it's meant to be, meant to look like an old metal sign. So I'm gonna share with you guys my decor that I have that I'm gonna be decorating with. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment down below. I will have everything linked so you guys can shop everything here or just take a peek at prices or the shops or whatnot. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start right over here. So I have my Miss You Already Target sign from the Hearth and Hand lined, line, excuse me. I have my faux plant, that's just a Target, um, it's not the Hearth and Hand, it is just their Project 62 brand. I have these beautiful corbels. These are from Legacy Home Decor. I have them linked down below. And I've got a couple of things from them, like the candlestick right here, that is a Legacy Home Decor. I just got this the other day from Piper's Classic. So it is just this beautiful greenery and then this white, really distressed and chippy looking. Oh, it's so cute. It is like, it could be used for so many different things. I'm actually gonna put, it's, it's, it's like a bird feeder, but I'm gonna put a candle in the middle, just kind of like this actually. See how cute that is? I'm using one hand, so it's a little bit difficult to style with. Um, then I have right here, I have my Milk Reclamation Barn Candle, that one I've never lit. I've got quite a few that I have not lit yet because they're so cute to style with. I have them linked down below where you guys can shop them on Amazon, which I love Amazon. Right back here we have Lavender Lady, huge 120 ounce candle. So, so yummy smelling. I don't even have to light it and it smells up the whole room. I have my Michaels frame, little frame back there with my kids. Look how cute this is. With my kids crying on a tractor. 
I have my little thankful sign back there from Something Gray. This is from Cole House Designs. I just got this little quilt from BHC Brands. And I also got some tea towels. I want to show you guys those too. Right here. So we're going to open up that. That's actually going to go on my seat because I get super, super cold when I am editing. And so something cute and cozy in here is perfect. Just got these. I'm going to show you guys. These farmhouse tea towels. How cute are these? So I'll open those up in a little with you guys. I got these corbels from TJ Maxx. No, not TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Excuse me, I got them the same day as something else in here. What was it? Oh, my frames back there. So these were $9.99 each, you guys. These look just like something that would come from Antique Farmhouse. They are very quality made. Uh, just the distressing is on point and the color, it's just so, so beautiful. $9.99 each. And I actually have corbels. I'll show you guys those in a second. I have corbels right up here that just, they seem to just match the brand so, so well. But those other corbels are from Antique Farmhouse. I have them linked down below. They're a daily farmhouse deal site. Um, same with decor deals. And they sell farmhouse decor, different pieces every day. So check them out in the links below. I have this greenery from Mama's Junk, another favorite farmhouse shop. My scale. I have this sign that I bought from Weathered Wood Home. Got this A sign. I can't remember where I got that from, but it's so cute. I got these little distressed, not, they're not little, but they're five by seven frames. Really white distressed from Home Goods. And then I got this candlestick from Hobby Lobby and then the greenery from Target. And then obviously my Antique Candle Co. candle in the blue mason jar. They have awesome sale going right now. Awesome, awesome sale. 40% uh, off their pumpkin spice, 40% off their peppermint. And I've got a link down below. And if you guys go down below to the links and um, click that Antique Candle Co. link, you guys can actually sign up for their email list and you guys can save 15% off your first order. So make sure you guys do that if you do that. That's like one of my secrets to saving with Antique Candle Co. for your first time purchase. Um, they've got some great bundle deals going on too right now. So check that out, but let's go ahead and get decorating. I'm gonna show you guys how I decorate and let's get started. So these are the sweet items from VHC Brands. I'm gonna link them down below too, but I just got these tea towels. I love these and I picked these out because you can hook them to your oven like this, with this button, without them falling off, which is a huge problem in my house with our puppy and um, our kids. So I'm excited about these. Uh, the one thing I'm excited to share with you guys for the office space is this little tiny quilt. It is their Sawyer Mill Star Charcoal Throw. It's a 60 by 50. And I'm actually just gonna put this right on my chair. It's super soft. And it's got the ticking stripe material in the back, which is just darling. And then it's got their stars in ticking stripes too. So I'm actually just going to fold this up. I absolutely love putting myself in quilts and just warming up with. Warm it up with them. So I'm just gonna fold it. And I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna put it. And I'm just gonna set it right here. On my 
chair for now. I could even put it in I could even put it in that little section to just kind of display it. I used to have this really cute cabinet filled with quilts, um, but unfortunately I don't have those anymore. They were really, really old and so um, they kind of sunk. And so I'm excited to have some newer ones to decorate with. Okay, so here's an overview of what everything looks like. As you guys can see, I like to group things together as best as I can. And I just want this to be a farmhouse styled, very clean space. As you guys can see, I really need to get pictures in those frames. But I just want it to be a space where it can be mine and clean and stay tidy. And so I'm really, really happy with the way this looks. And it's kind of my color palette of whites and blacks and that pop of green, if you guys can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna go ahead and open up my boutique rug and see what it looks like. Remember, I've got that 60% off coupon down below if you guys wanna check them out and order yourself a beautiful farmhouse rug. Let's go ahead and go over there. Amazon places and they're definitely not this soft this is very very nice I really really like this hi buddy okay you guys so here's a close-up look as to what the carpet looks like sometimes photos just don't do justice and video is sort of the way to go in my opinion but this has a gray, it's it's like a creamy white is the base and then it's got like a lighter gray look to it and it's more of, not a chevron look, but it's got three or four different patterns on it and I think it's just so clean looking and it's really gonna save my carpet, I feel like. Um, hi! <laughs> my girl says hi, but I wanted to give you guys a look at what this looks like. And yeah, I really, really love it. I think it's so, so pretty. 